Give me a live look at the G1C now. Despite city officials saying it wouldn't happen, the city plans to dip into the city's general fund to cover the cost of building the Golden One Center. CBS 13's Andrew Hobner getting answers for us on why. A normal Kings game can bring thousands to downtown. But that hasn't translated to parking revenue, which is now hurting the city. And they gave away land, they gave away this, they gave away that, you know, and it was just, they didn't, they just was going to do it, that's all. Jim Cathcart wanted the Golden One Center's construction on a public ballot before it was built and now says the bill has come due. The, the, the Sapien was fine. I mean, that was cool, but why do you have to give so much away? So we'll start with the basics. What is a city's general fund for? Assembly member and Sacramento mayoral candidate Kevin McCarty explains. Three quarters of the city general fund discretionary budget goes to police and fire service. Um, the other quarter uh, goes to parks, you know, also goes to library, youth programs, homeless programs. And why is it paying for the Golden One Center now? The city tells CBS 13, quote, the city's general fund would be required to cover any shortfall to mitigate negative impacts to the city's credit rating, outlook, and reputation. So because the city isn't making enough money on parking, general fund dollars are having to cover the cost. To, to have the city not do the homework at the time, mm -hmm. that's what really aggravated me. The Downtown Sacramento Partnership estimates that the city has brought in nearly $2 billion in tax revenue since the G1C's opening and credits its building with the nearly 61 projects completed downtown. But McCarty says it's a tightrope with taxpayers. What we're learning now, you know, 12 years later, is we need to make sure that we protect the city's interests and the city budget when we sign up for these arrangements um, in the long, for the long term. As the city could be on the hook for millions more as the parking shortfall continues, pushing the need for more downtown private investment. You know, bringing more retail, more restaurants, bringing more housing downtown. You know, that's really the solution to bring a life back into downtown and protect the city's long-term financial interests.